what's up what's up divas and what's up what's up devos okay so you guys already know what time it is it's wednesday but um the day i'm doing this video is tuesday and yes i hope you guys are cooking and preparing for tomorrow because it's wednesday when you watch this which means tomorrow is thanksgiving and honestly i was not about to put up no real talk video because i wanted to prepare my stuff too but i said you know what i am not about to have them bitches be mad with me and when i call y'all that don't think of it as in a bad way like disrespectful way because you can call me that too on a, on a cool way but if you mean it as like some disrespect like fuck you bitch then that's the type of shit that have your throat cut but you know when you be like what up bitch then we cool you know what i'm saying what up bitch we cool so i had to come through and make sure that i gave y'all bitches some real talk okay and some drinks and even though one of my divas one of my favorite divas did send me some recipes for some drinks i did use some of them but this was so easy and convenient so i said let me just sip this sips on tea but this ain't really fucking tea so let me tell y'all okay first of all i know y'all think my hair is cute lay my little thin edges down put them on fleekity fleek okay but this is a wig because i know y'all know that my hair is not this thick i wish it was because a bitch would be so fucking happy for real but it's just a wig it's it, what's so funny about it is i did oh my god i did four wig videos today and a um plus size lookbook okay and one of the wigs that i did was actually just like this i mean they it was the one that i actually made by best lace wigs the kinky straight one that i made like over a year ago but you guys always see me wearing it you know parted and i always got a braid in it so this is that wig i decided to pull it back off of my mannequin head today only because i did a wig with the exact same hair texture as this and i braided it just like this so i was like oh that's so cute I'm gonna put me on a wig like this because it was simple. Now, mind you, I wasn't even going to wear this wig today. No, because y'all know that I have my new favorite wig, which is by Lily Hair Beauty, which is that fucking wig that's a blonde, blonde highlights that I made. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, then make sure you watch the video. I showed you a step by step by step by step fucking tutorial on how to color that wig so that is my go-to wig for real but being that i was just running to the store like i was going to walmart and i had to go get some turkey necks turkey necks for my homemade gravy i said i'm just going to throw on my kinky straight wig and i'm gonna look cute like that because i like the braid sometimes and sometimes it all glamorous is just a little bit too much sometimes for me well, anyway and plus i had on one of my favorite shirts that i've had for over a year so yes and some leggings so and my toms i had on my toms okay yes i am a grandmother and a mama i, I wear toms okay so i had on those and they're comfy i had on those and did i meet a man at the store at the at the asian grocery store i know you're like bitch you went to the asian grocery store well i did really go there for some turkey necks but they didn't have none so me tati mumsy and tinky were walking in and um this this nice looking black man why was he parked in a handicapped parking spot knowing damn well well there's nobody that ever goes there anyway but he was nice looking okay slim had a little bald head looked like my age you know saying god he kept staring at me and i was like how you doing you know because if you stare hard enough they, how you doing nigga how you doing all right because what the fuck is you looking at he's like i'm doing real good now you know that game that they be trying to mac like shh. Nigga, you want to you wanna throw some shade in game? Well, I'm about to throw some game your motherfucking way. We talking. He's like, you know, I'm looking real hard. Like, and he was looking real hard. Looked like he was a little bit too looking hard, okay? He was like, come here. Let me, let me talk to you. So I'm talking to him or whatever. And he was like, take my number down. I looked at him. I was like, excuse me? Because who the fuck is you talking to? First, he tried to look at my finger like, you know, where your husband at? I had to tell him, first of all, I'm divorced, okay? And I wanted to say, second of all, deuces, bitch. But second of all, I really don't fuck with black men no more. And I'm sorry. I know I'm black. But some of these black men that I have dealt with have just pushed me overboard. So they, like, last on my dating list. And that's fucked up to say, but it's true. You know what I'm saying? But, I, you know... I'll give you a moment of conversation, whatever. You know what I'm saying? 
So we talking, we just standing there talking. And I was like, so how old are you? He was like, I'm 37. I was like, oh, you don't look like it. And he was like, thank you, thank you. That's what I be saying. I look younger than that, right? And I just was like saying to myself, nigga, I didn't mean you didn't look 37, nigga. You look older than me. This is what I was saying to myself. Like, you look like you in your 40s is what I was thinking. Because he looked like he was in his 40s. And so I was like, oh, okay, so, yeah, mm -hmm, I'm older than you. He was like, no, you're not. you looking up like, nigga, stop. I had to say, look, chill out. Because you ain't going to be looking at me like I'm some fucking popsicle on a stick and you want to lick me the fuck up. Because I don't fall for that shit. Not that thirsty shit. Because the bitch ain't thirsty and I don't need a motherfucking headache. Anyway, he was nice looking. His name is Lou with an X, he said, because it's French. And he's from New Orleans. But, you know, whatever. So, anyway, that was my night. And then what's so crazy was, right, I'm in Walmart. We in Walmart. And I'm, like, going off. It's just talking, just dis discipline, m disciplining mumsy. And I walk around the corner, and I hear this lady talking about, that's right, mama, you said it. So she's, like, cheering me on. I turn the corner, and me and this black lady, we, like, hook eyes. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I know you. And she was like, I know you, too. I was like, Nancy from Schenectady, New York? And she was like, hey, bro. Girl, first of all, it's a small motherfucking world. I am like 2,500 miles away. Why the fuck am I seeing somebody that used to live right, when I say right next door, here's my house, and she lived right here, the next house. Like, crazy, right? Just so strange. And we just hugged and we spoke. Like, we weren't the best of friends. I don't even think the bitch really cared for me too much. I don't even give a fuck if you don't like me because I don't give a fuck. Anyway... Small world. She's been living here in Arizona for five, over five years, and I've been here for over three years. Strange. That was, that was like, so crazy. So now, you know, of course, we exchanged numbers, and it was just really weird, and I just was standing, we just was standing there smiling at each other, and it was, it was so weird because, bitch, you lived right fucking next door to me. And now I'm in Walmart on another side of the world, and we are talking to each other like this is fuck crazy that goes to show you that the world is a very small place there are 50 something states and how the fuck did i run into you in walmart in the fucking shower curtain aisle while we live next door in schenectady over like gosh um I moved off of that block in 2002, so like in 2001, we lived next door to each other. It's just strange. It's a small world is, is right. When they say it's a small world, they are so right. It's a small fucking world. You never know. I mean, it's, it was like so weird because I blurted out, Nancy from Schenectady, New York, we used to work at Phone Solutions together? She was like, oh my God. Like, I don't even know. Like, I can barely remember what the fuck I did last week. For me to remember her name and that we worked at the same place, like, a long, long, long time ago was amazing. Like, did I just stop smoking weed? Because I swear to you guys, I have smoked weed for so many years. And sometimes I think I forget shit because of the weed. I don't know how the fuck that I remember her name. Let alone that we work together. And maybe that we work together, that's nothing to um, forget. But that I remember her name, especially because we weren't like the best of friends. But she lived next door to me. We would converse with one another, but nothing like that. And then we was exchanging stories, like what we was doing here, et cetera, et cetera. I was like, you know, I left my husband. You know my husband. She knew him. It was just weird. It's just really, really strange. You know what I'm saying? That the world is so big, but yet so small. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, yes. Um, other than that, um, like I was saying, I did some videos today. And also, make sure that you check out my Beware of These Hair Vendors on AliExpress. That video is up on YouTube. And let me tell you something. For one, I am one like this. I love getting free stuff from any company. Don't get me wrong. And listen, I don't work. So, this is how I earn my money. By doing video reviews and my YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And my, my, my business. So I'm a hustler. I mean, a hustler, like, I bust my ass and I do a lot of things. And every day you'll see a video up for me. Or you'll see two videos up, depending on what day of the week it is. You know what I'm saying? Because I have to live, too. And my kids got to live and eat. But regardless of the fact is this. 
I love getting stuff in the mail from companies. I love it. And I'm very thankful and grateful because some of the things I don't have to pay for, just like when I had to do the clothing review today. A lot of the things that I chose, you know what I'm saying? I chose them and I was able to give my daughter Tatiana, who's who's my eldest daughter in my size clothes, and also for myself. So a lot of things I don't have to buy, even for my other daughter, who's 14, and even for Mumsy, like book bags and things like that. So every little bit that I get counts and it helps you know what i'm saying i'm not one of those big youtube stars that get paid like 50 g's a month or anything like that i wish but it's not like that but here's the thing i feel like this i'm blessed and i'm thankful for every little thing that i have from the lord and everyone that watches me and i feel blessed sometimes you don't need the riches sometimes when you have sometimes just enough it's just enough you know what i'm saying because a lot of people when they seem like they get really famous and what have you they get a little bit besides themselves you know what i'm saying and with that i just really and i don't understand and then they start you their videos become a little bit complicated when i say complicated meaning you don't really know if it's fake or real you know what i'm saying but anyway what i was trying to say is i'm happy that i get to be i'm able to review things for free some companies pay me some don't but i still get free stuff and that still it helps me and i just you know what i'm saying and it even not that it helps me but it helps me but i also am able to make a video because i do love to talk to you guys i don't know what it is like i don't really have a lot of friends that i socialize with out in the world outside of this in real time but this to you and me that i speak to you we're friends and we're family so this is my out and I'm able to talk to you guys and this makes me happy and though some people it may not make them happy because some people need to have social friends I need that too but this makes me feel good but anyway what I was trying to get to say is you know what I'm saying like I would say I love to get stuff in the mail I'm like a kid with a new candy or a kid with a new toy I love getting packages but here's the thing if you send me some bullshit I'm gonna say it's bullshit do you really think that I give a fuck that you don't never want to send me nothing again in life i don't care like i constantly have to say this to people like i don't give a fuck if you don't never ever ever <laughs> hey boo ever 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 want to hey honey okay send me anything get your ass over here <laughs> so somebody just bust through the he bust through the door in my real talk oh my god did he so quiet. <laughs> yes like he bust through so like i don't really care if people don't want to send me shit that um, did you just throw that shit over there? Like, because you don't like my review. It, it is what it is. It's real and authentic, and it's going to stay like that. So if you busted in here, you should say hello. Say hello. You smell like crackers. No, say hello. You cannot have what I got. Yeah. This is my lip gloss. This? Cakey. You're welcome. That's my fake. That's Kylie, but your mother calls it Jiley. What? Yeah. I don't have my toothbrush. That's for my edges, boy. You can't brush your teeth with that. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Say hi, you got. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? This paper? This? Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So, like I was saying, like. You stay here now. Like, I don't really care if you don't want to send me shit. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of companies don't like that. But anyway, so check out the AliExpress video. And so, as you can see, I was sitting alone, but somebody just bust through my door, and now he's throwing, say hello, say hi, say hi. You can say hi, and then I'll let you go. Say hi. 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 Give Grandma a kiss. Give Grandma a kiss. Mm. He did look good. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Okay, get out then. Bye. You gonna take my lip gloss? Okay, so if you gonna take my lip gloss. No, you can't. You can't. No, you can't get over there. No, you can't get over there. No, there's nothing. Oh, well, you know what? You threw that back there and I can't. Oh, this? Okay. Bye, Felicia. This is my lip gloss. You're not taking it. Bye. <gasps> Close my door. Close my door. Okay, so anyway, like I was saying, because he busts up in here and he's still in here and I'm doing a real talk. What do you want? What? Yeah. I don't have anything. Oh, this? You want this? Okay, we'll take it. Okay, bye. What? This? Oh, you're not about to get this. You can't have this. Oh, this is what you wanted. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I got your hairbrush in here. Yeah. My drink? I can't give that to you. Baby. Well, won't you? A SpongeBob is not in here. Bye. 
Go. Just get out. Get, get up to your mother. Get out. Get the hell out. Okay, thank you. Bye. Get out. Why is he like doing a full tour in my room like he's never been in here before? Okay? He's looking at the lights. He's like amazed. Like... And then there's his family right there, right? There's Mumsy and his mother is hiding behind the Christmas lights. And he leaves now. Bye, Felicia. Goodbye. Close the door. So, yeah, you see, okay, so I don't even remember what I was talking about, but either way, it is what it is. I love my family, and it's awesome, and I have a crazy house, and I love it. I got my grandson who just busted in my door, and I love it. Yes, I have a grandson. I have two, actually. One will be four in January, who I miss like crazy. Um, he's in New York, and that one will be two in January, so... I am a grandmother and a mother of five. So anyway, enough of this talking. Let's get into this real talk video. Uh, if you have a real talk that you would like to elaborate, collaborate on, or talk about, send me an email to muffinismylovers2012 at gmail.com. Please put in the subject line, real talk. And let's get on to this because I know it is 16 minutes in and I've talked your motherfucking ears up. Okay, divas, let's get this popping. Hey, I love your videos, especially Real Talk, because you always keep it real, and your wigs and makeup always stay on fleek. Mm. Thank you, honey. I'm really looking forward to hearing what advice you have for me. Anyway, I'm 21 years old, and I've been dating my boyfriend for a little over a year now. We're the same age. He is so kind, and he always respected me, and... He's always respected me and been there for me through so much. He means so much to me. He is my best friend. He is a Muslim man from Saudi. He came to the U.S. specifically for his studies and nothing more. His family is in Saudi and he will be going back after he gets his degree. He says he loves me but can't marry me because he did not come here for marriage. His parents told him he is not here to get married or get someone pregnant. Also, I am Christian and not Arabic. I'm Latina. Although I was born here in the U.S., I don't care that he is Muslim. I'm not trying to change him. I only care if he believes in God. I'm not planning on converting to Islam because I'm comfortable being Christian. He hasn't asked me to convert on the contrary. He respects what I believe. He has even told me a lot of times that he is okay, that it's okay for a Muslim to marry a Christian. I really want to marry him because I love him with all my heart and I don't want to keep fornicating. I even went as far as asking him myself. He didn't let me and pick me up before my knees hit the floor, hugged me really tight while tears came down his face. He told me it simply won't work and that he is not holding me back. I tried to be just friends, but it's hard. We always end up back together. I faced time with him, with his mom, and she is so nice, but she thinks we're just friends or thinks we have nothing serious. He confessed to me that his family is the problem and he doesn't want to disappoint his father as he is paying for his studies and has too much respect for him. I love him and I want him in my life. I thought if you love someone enough, nothing else matters. I don't know. I'm confused. Should I wait or move on? I have a knot in my throat as I type this. Please help. I've included a pic of us. This is only for you to see. Thank you for your time. It means a lot to me. Wow. She about to make me tear up because they both look so cute together. And he's so handsome and she's so pretty and they just look so cute together. Wow. Like, she just wrote me this like a little while ago and we're going to call her Jessica. So she's 21 and she's met somebody, we're going to call him Alex, and he's Muslim from Saudi. And he's only here in the States for his studies, but I guess, you know, they have fallen for one another. And his family is telling him he's not here to get married, he's not here to get um, anyone pregnant. She loves him, she has feelings for him. He feels the same way, but he's telling her that it won't work and he doesn't want to disappoint his family. You know something? You know, she's like, should she leave him or... Just continue to try. 
you know something sometimes love is like the hardest thing to give up on you know what i mean because the heart wants what it wants it doesn't really matter what your brain wants it's all about what the heart wants and i can totally get it like you know as much as i bash and talk shit about my ex-husband I will tell you this honestly I still love him like I know in my heart of hearts that he was only person that's ever really loved me like when I say man person I mean as a male person you know because he loved me for all my flaws and and shit like that you know what I'm saying and he's always been like you're the perfect person he's never talked shit about me like the asshole Jamel that was living here I got rid of you know and it's like but it's it is it is what it is it's the heart wants what it wants and sometimes you know it's so hard to please everybody even our own family members and we want to make everybody happy but the, at the end of the day who are who are we really making happy we're making everyone else happy and not ourselves you know what i'm saying and then we're still miserable while these other people are so happy and they really don't give a fuck about our happiness you know what i'm saying like these people that we go above and beyond to make happy and and to fulfill their needs and to just satis to, to satisfy them they don't do the same for us because here we go to bed like she probably is heartbroken crying tears because she's lonely and somebody she really wants wants her too but he doesn't want to disappoint his family and you know it's so it's so sad when it's like different cultures like that because a lot of times it all goes back to their parents like they don't want to disappoint their parents they don't want to let anyone in their family down and i could totally understand that like i really wouldn't want my kids to disappoint me however if it's something that you really really want in life and it's making you so happy and it makes you feel so good you have to take that leap of faith and go for it you cannot worry about what everybody else thinks what everybody else wants how everybody else feels you have to worry about you yourself you know what i'm saying and like shit like that i'm gonna put for example like with my mom me and my mom we are not the best of friends you know what i'm saying she always got some shit to say and and as much as i would hate to say this she's kind of jealous of me and i really don't know why but in an all aspect i really would think that she would be proud of me because here i am a single mother of five and two grandchildren and i moved all the way across the country with no help of anyone when i say no help i didn't get no help from anyone i drove my car here i paid for my move i packed my house up with no help from anyone me and my kids we did this together with no help and instead of her like being happy and proud of me because i came from nothing i grew up in the projects i was on welfare myself you know what i'm saying i didn't get my ged until i was in my 30s you know what i'm saying i dropped out of school you know what I'm saying? I was on wealth. I said that already. Okay. So, and then I'm, I, I moved up so much in life. And it's like, she just don't want to congratulate me. I'm not saying bitch go and say, oh, congratulations. But she just don't want to have the respect for me. And it's like, she's always hating. So that's why I'd be like, we are not the best of friends. She just be like hating so much. You know what I'm saying? She's always got something to say, regardless. When I first started YouTube, you know, I was just starting out. I really didn't know too much about makeup, but I felt like my little bit of makeup skills that I did have, and this was back in 2009, I thought that my little makeup skills that I did have was the best. You know what I'm saying? So at least I learned and I was trying and I progressed over the years. So now when I look at my own pictures from back in 2009, I'd be like, oh girl, what was you thinking? However, at least I have learned. You, you, it's a learning stage. Ain't nobody about to come out perfect, but instead of her like, giving me words of encouragement and just being happy for me that okay she got a youtube channel she's doing something with herself she's having fun she got a hobby she ain't out there shaking her booty and sucking dick the first thing she could say is you look like the lady from the drew carey show mimi the fat white lady because your makeup looks like shit like she would say things like that then she would say things about the, my little bathroom that i used to do my videos in oh look at those dark walls they're so ugly but i like those curtains that you got did you make those let me get the extra fabric it would be little things like that. So you, she always give like a negative with a positive punch. You know what I'm saying? And instead of her being happy for me, just like when I moved out here, she she just puts me down. She she tells my oldest son how she don't like what I do. Like what do I do? 
I'm on YouTube. I don't, I don't, I ain't taking my titties out and my pussy out and showing it to the world. I'm on YouTube. So what is the problem? She don't like what I do. Are you mad because I get to stay at home and take care of my kids and I could make my own money? I don't, I don't really understand what it is, but you know what I'm saying? I have been past that. I'm over it. Like I'm over and done with trying to make Pamela happy. Our last dispute was a few weeks ago when I called her. She didn't answer. She called me back. I was at the doctor's office. I'm there for my veins. Did she fucking say, oh, you're pregnant again? Wow, bitch, I'm 42 years old. And I don't mean to call her that, but you know what I'm saying? I'm 42 fucking years old. No, I'm not motherfucking pregnant. Nor do I want another kid. I got two grandchildren. What makes you fucking think that I want to have a baby when I have grandchildren? So it's always something that's negative and she's always got to knock me like always constantly knocking me You know what I'm saying just put me down. She's put me down about my move out here Oh, you'll be back. You will you won't like it. I don't even know why you're moving all the way over there anyway What's wrong with you? That was stupid of you to want to move over there anyway Every house looks the same. I don't even know how you find your house well, I don't know how you find your motherfucking building. You live in a project and there's six buildings five or six They all look the same too. How the fuck you find your shit? I know where the fuck I live at, and all the houses don't look the same. They might be the same motherfucking color, but I know where the fuck I live at in a big-ass house. So it's always like she's always put me down, and I've come to the realization that you cannot please everybody, which is unfortunate. And what I was really trying to get at and say is when all the shit popped off between my husband and I, Back in 2013, you know, when he had got drunk and we had that big fight and I had to have him arrested and shit. She basically said, if you go back to him, I'll never speak to you again. And I took that into consideration because I would never want to lose my mom's respect and I would always want to make her happy. But here it is, you disrespect me and you don't even fucking talk to me. You don't ask about your grandchildren, you don't call them, you don't even know their names. So why the fuck am I trying to please you? You know what I'm saying? Not saying that my husband is the best person in the world, or my ex-husband, excuse me. Because he's not, he has problems. And which most of us do have problems. However... There's a lot of things about him that a lot of people don't know. Like, yeah, I have gotten on here many a times and I have bashed him for who he is as a person. You know what I'm saying? With his drinking and shit like that. And, you know, it, that's a problem. That shit is a motherfucking problem. And sometimes I just can't deal with it. And a lot of times I can't deal with it. With the drinking and going back and forth to jail. You go back and forth to jail because you get drunk and you got drugs on you. You can't, you can't drink and drug, okay? You can't drink and sell drugs. And either one of them is not right. You know what I'm saying? So, I kind of outgrew that. I kind of, I did outgrow that lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? This shit about him, just because he gets drunk and he does dumb shit, doesn't mean that he's like the worst person in the world. She fails to realize that as many baby fathers as I have, I have five children and four baby fathers. Because with my ex-husband, I have two. You know what I'm saying? And I know that's a lot. Some people may say, ooh, girl. But I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm a human being. And I don't really think that I'm going to stay with somebody because we got kids together. And you treat me like shit. That's not going to happen. So I'll move on to the next. And you know what I'm saying? So you, can always, you cannot always judge a person. But I had two kids with him. And other ones I only had one with. And out of all my baby daddies, okay, I'm going to say it like that. Um, and all the boyfriends that I have ever dated, he might have been a drunk, my ex-husband. But he genuinely loved me, okay? And it's crazy because he still genuinely loves me to this day. And, and I don't know this because he has written me. It was crazy. I got a letter from him a couple weeks ago. He has written me, like a letter, not an email, a fucking letter. He has written me and, he, and he's written my kids because he's scared to call me. And he tells my daughter how much he loves me and he misses me. So I know that he genuinely loves me. And sometimes things are just meant to be as they are for right now and who's to say maybe that he will stop drinking and he will get his shit together and maybe we can see eye to eye and be back together because out of everybody that I've dated and have kids with I will honestly tell you guys you know what I'm saying I will honestly tell you guys this as much as I said that I'm happy that I've gotten divorced I absolutely love that man still I still love him you know what I'm saying you can never like like I said the heart knows what it wants, the heart wants what it wants. And he may not be the best person for me in the world, but who's the best person for anybody? Who's 100% perfect? So, with that being said, because I'm about to start crying, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think about a lot of things in life, and life is so short, and you cannot please everybody. And 
Jessica, I think that's what I called you, right? If you really, really care for this person and you really love him, don't give up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe he's trying to please everybody and later on he will understand. But just don't give up that easy because if you really, really have feelings for this young man, then strive and fight for it. Sometimes it's so worth the fight. Trust me when I tell you. Sometimes it's so worth the fight, especially if they're a good guy because there are not a lot of them around. And then there are. But you know what I'm saying? I guess that's one reason why I'm so like reluctant to date and like I don't want to date black men because I know the only black man for me is the one that I divorced. Like I really truly love him. And so the only way to get over him is to go to another race, which is crazy, right? But it's just, just how I feel. Like I don't want to date anybody that's black unless it's him and that's just crazy. But because every black guy that I date, I'm comparing him to him and it's like, oh, nigga, your dick is too little, okay? It be shit like that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But Jessica and Alex, he's a good looking guy. You're a good looking girl. You guys got a lot of things in common. And regardless of how his parents may feel, it's love. And if you guys feel for one another, then don't let nobody stand in your way. Because your happiness is not their happiness. Trust and believe. You're going to go to bed at the end of the day alone or with somebody you love. I know this much that his family, his father, and them, they got their loved ones. You know what I'm saying? It, people are just so hard to please. I, I'm over it. Like, for real, I ain't worried about pleasing nobody no more. I am dead serious when I say this. And I say it like that because y'all see me on here when I be like, I don't give a fuck if y'all bitches don't like me. I don't give a fuck if nobody don't like me. And I say, and I mean that shit, like, on some real shit, trust and believe, I don't give a fuck. There are so many bitches on YouTube that don't like me, whether they're YouTube reviewers or YouTube people or fucking people that just watch it. There's a lot of people that don't like me. Do you really think that I care? Do you really think that I'm losing any sleep over it? Hell fucking no. I don't give a fuck. Because if I was so worried about y'all disliking me, then I would be like, oh my God. I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to end my life. Like, let me tell y'all something. I watched this video that I edited today and posted up today on Tuesday because today is Tuesday. You remember that shit. And I forgot to edit the part out of me scratching my nose. I was scratching my nose like this and licking my lips at the same time because I don't know what happened, but I'm my lips have been so dry for the past couple of weeks. I don't know if it was a medication that I've been taking that they've given me for my hysterectomy, but my lips have been overly dry. So I've been smearing on chapstick, which I don't got. Yeah, you don't want to hear that. But anyway, so my nose was itching because I got allergies and I was licking my lips and I meant to edit that part out. And I was just like, in the video. And I forgot to edit that out. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Then I was like, I gotta edit this out. So I was like, oh my God, I was like, oh my God. I was going crazy. Then I was like, you know what? I don't give a fuck. I really don't give a fuck. First of all, I wasn't digging in my nose. But I don't even give a fuck if you feel like I was digging in my nose. I'm not here to please every fucking body. If you don't like it, then you don't fucking like it. I don't give a shit. Nobody's perfect. And nobody has to please every fucking body. We have to stop worrying about what everybody else wants, what everybody else likes, how everybody else is so motherfucking happy. And do fucking you. That's my quote for the day. Do fucking you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I had too much to drink, which I didn't, but I'm going to just say it like this. Do you, Jessica, and go after what you want. And let her know what y'all feel. Okay? Hmm. Okay, so this is going to be the last one, because I'm only going to do two today, because I think I talked enough. So she, saw, she put this real talk, I hate him. April, please help me. She wrote me this morning at 5.56 a.m. I just found out I was pregnant and now it seems like everything my boyfriend does is annoying me. I don't want to be touched by him. I can't I can't stand to sleep in the same bed with him. I don't want to see his face. You can call me Monique and him Ralph. I used to be so obsessed with this man. I wanted him over all the time. I couldn't get enough of him. Now I want him to stay away. A few weeks ago, he saw me still talking to my ex, but it wasn't anything inappropriate, and he went crazy. Now he keeps bringing it up. He's hacked into my Facebook, and now he reads my messages. I feel like I'm being stalked. He keeps grabbing my phone and reading my conversations with my friends. I told him that's an invasion of privacy. He said I should have no problem with him going in my phone if I'm not doing anything. 
it is all annoying me. I'm not sure if it's the hormones that has me feeling like this, but I've been screaming and yelling and I'm even threw my photo book at Ralph's head the other day. Please help, Monique. Okay, so Monique is pregnant and she used to adore the hell out of this man. Wanted him around all the time, wanted to spend time with him, would pick him over anything in the fucking world, okay? Probably even a nice pair of fucking Gucci shoes, okay? Or a, a, a Louis Vuitton bag. She's pregnant. She can't stand sleeping at, with him in the bed. She can't stand looking at him. She does not want him around. But here's the, here's the kicker. It's not just her hormones, it's also him because he's constantly going through her phone because he's caught her talking to her ex-boyfriend which it wasn't anything disrespectful. He, I'm not sure if he saw them face-to-face -face talking because she didn't explain or via phone text message or on the phone verbally. I'm not really sure. Either way, he's caught her and now he's insecure. He's snatching her phone, reading her text messages, going through her phone and he's basically saying if you're not doing nothing, you shouldn't feel any type of way about me going Going through your shit but she's like this is invasion of privacy is it my freaking hormones no 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 bitch what did you tell me to call you let's see monique no no he no it's not it has nothing to do with your motherfucking hormones it has to do with just like you said invasion of your fucking privacy now here's the thing first of all i don't allow anybody to go through my shit i just don't like anybody going through my shit regardless if i'm doing something or not i just feel like some things are my shit now here's the thing if he want to go through your shit well if he want to go through your shit you should say to him let me go through your shit because we're not going to have this if you want to be like this we're going to have some tick for tack shit because I'm not about to have you going through my phone if you want to go through my phone then I'm going to go through your phone however if you feel so insecure what the fuck are you doing wrong in the relationship that you are feeling so insecure that you got to tap every fucking thing that I got my hands on now here's the thing your hormones yes they do get kind of edgy and you just get tired of a motherfucker but I really honestly don't think it has anything to do with pregnancy. I has, I think it has a lot to do with the lack of respect. Him going through your things and just constantly irritating you and bringing shit up is a lack of respect. And what you need to let him know is like this. Listen, I'm already pregnant. I'm already going through some shit with you. And I'm already going through some shit with my body. Now, here's the thing. I don't need you throwing extra shit my way, okay? Don't nobody want my ex-boyfriend. I'm pregnant by you. Let's just leave it at that. And please stop going through my stuff unless you have some insecurities. If you have some insecurities about yourself, maybe we should take time apart from one another and see other people. Or better yet, see no fucking body, but just leave me the fuck alone. That's all you got to say to his ass, bitch. All you got to say. Because I'm just saying, a bitch like me... Sips tea or sips drink the let the rest that's left. <laughs> and listen, I'm gonna just show y'all something. I don't even give a fuck. Okay. Yes. But this is how I feel. I don't like people going through my shit. Okay. And when a man goes through your shit. And he's constantly bringing shit up and just doing shit. Sometimes it's the lack of who they are as a person. Or sometimes it has a lot to do with what the fuck they doing behind closed doors that your ass don't know the fuck about. Now just because you're pregnant by a motherfucker does not mean that he can't cheat on you and do some fucked up shit. Some fuckery, okay? Pure D fuckery. Now, one thing is one thing. You're not about to go through none of my shit. I don't give a fuck who you are. You could be the president. You could be Jesus. You're not going through my shit, okay? Because there is a thin line be between respect and disrespect. And you ain't about to disrespect me, okay? Just like I had to say in my other video. There's a thin line. And I'm not about to be disrespected. 
So you're either going to not go through my shit and trust me, or you can hit the motherfucking road. And you can plain and simple tell him like that. You're either going to stop going through my stuff and having all these insecurities and stressing me the fuck out while I'm pregnant with your baby, or you can leave me alone. Give him all, um, just give it to him like that. Nine times out of ten, he's going to stop. Because he doesn't want to lose you and he knows you're pregnant. But if you allow him and continuously allow him to go through your shit, he's just going to keep doing it. I mean, I would. Shit, fuck it. I used to do my ex-husband like that. And he knew. As long as you let me take advantage of you and do shit to you, I'm going to fucking do the shit. I don't give a fuck. Plain and simple. So let Monique know what you guys would do. And I'm sorry that this video was long but not too long and i want to wish you guys a very very happy thanksgiving put me a plate aside put a bitch a plate aside let me know down below your comments to this video but also let me know what y'all is making for thanksgiving because listen if y'all live in arizona put i live in arizona and this is what i'm making because a bitch will be like okay listen you making what? Can I can I get your address so I can come over? I mean, we could take some selfies together. We could do a video together, but can I get a fucking plate? I mean, I'm making my own shit too, but you know what I'm saying? I like other people to cooking too. And it's holidays. I love the holidays. And I love to be with people, regardless if they're family or not. I love the holidays. I love going broke for the holidays. I am like wait till you guys see my if you want to see a house tour of my Christmas stuff, like yeah, okay. So I have all my Christmas stuff on right now. All of it like I'm not even finished but I'm so excited like I don't know what the fuck has gotten into me but I'm just so happy and so thankful and, and just so blessed and I'm just like so so happy um yeah so I'm I'm ready for the holidays and I'm already decorated and I think it has a lot to do with a, a lot of people and a lot of things I have left behind and stress like relationships and networks on YouTube like you know what I'm saying um you guys probably don't even notice um but because them fucking people are still on my channel but I have changed networks like I am no longer with the network SH but it's still on my page but I gotta get that changed but I have a new network that I'm with that owns my channel or helps me with my channel whatever and you know something it's awesome that I've left my old network which was Style Hall and um and with this new network because I feel like I was shitted on for all these years, okay, from this old network. And this new network is, like, so helpful. So I'm, like, so blessed and so thankful for a lot of things. So thankful for YouTube. So thankful. When I say so thankful for YouTube, I mean you guys. You guys. Because you guys take the time out to watch me. And I love it. Like, seriously, you guys are my family. So I hope you all have, like, the best Thanksgiving. Let me know what you're making. If you live in Arizona, let a bitch know. And yes, happy Thanksgiving, gobble, gobble. Happy Thanksgiving and happy holidays to everyone. And I love you all, and I'll see you in a soon-to-come video.